Here is one of the reasons why Apocrypha isn't reliable. It has in it traces of fallacious dogma that dismantle the very essence of truth by how it is applicably disingenuous and inconsistent. The verse is in Tobit. 9 For almsgiving saves from death and purges away every sin. Those who give alms will enjoy a full life, 10 But those who commit sin and do wrong are their own worst enemies. Unquote. This verse dismantles the fabric of consistency and reason as it is contradictory to the pillar of true Christianity, that is, submission to God in all its necessary requirements like love for God and love for man, worship, prayer etc. It is directly stated that every sin will be purged just by the solitary means of almsgiving. Meaning, just by giving of alms as prerequisite will purge every sin. It contradicts every aspect of true religion. James 1 verse 27 27. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Unquote. The two essence of religion is love for man and holiness, yet even in the dysfunctional nature of disobedience wherein you tend to not love God or man, or to be unholy in matters of deeds, you are still unaccountable just as long as you give alms so in this instance, giving of alms would makes you sinless. Meaning, even if you don't love God or your fellow man or even if you don't pray or worship then you are excused as long as you do almsgiving because in doing so, all your sins are purged. The sin of not loving God or your fellow man, the sin of not praying or worshipping etc. are purged as long as you keep giving charity right? It's nonsense. So it suggests that even without love, you have no sin as long as you give charity because the sin of not loving is purged and invalid. So even without love then you are sinless, therefore you are saved, you are blessed. Psalms 32 verse 2. 2. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. See what I mean. It's a twisted dogma. That is one of the reasons why Apocrypha in its integrity cannot be trusted. Objection comes like this, Luke has spoken in collateral verse. Luke 11 verse 41. But rather give alms of such things as ye have, and, behold, all things are clean unto you. Unquote. The thing is, it's clean unto you it is not clean within you. So giving of alms isn't pertinent to being totally clean within. It is simply on things coming unto you therefore Luke isn't endorsing the apocryphal verse which has the errant doctrinal structure. Thank you.